make a drink and you're just so happy with the result, you just like, it just makes you happy. You know? That's what I have here with this painkiller cocktail. Hey everybody, my name is Eric and this is An Idiot's Liquor, where me, myself, and I, a complete non-expert in the bar industry, makes cocktails. Just, uh, you know, have a little fun. Enjoy some things. And today, you know, even though we're running out of summer, I think we still have some time for a few summery, tiki-type cocktails, and one of the most prominent ones is the painkiller. Now, I wanted to make this earlier, but I was lacking the navy rum. I had dark rum, but I needed this stuff. Navy rum. And, uh, that's why I haven't made it yet, but it is a key ingredient in the painkiller cocktail, and that is what I'm making right now. Now, the variation that I'm going to be making today is from Dale DeGroff. It was published in his book, The Essential Cocktail, The Art of Mixing Perfect Drinks. I'll put a link to that down in the description below if you're interested in checking that out. Dale DeGroff, a highly respected member of the cocktail community. Now, like I had said prior, this is a drink that utilizes navy rum. Now you might be wondering what differentiates navy rum from dark rum. Now you might see some painkiller cocktail recipes that call for dark rum or a navy rum if you're unable to get a hold of some and that's acceptable but you know I wanted to stay true to form and use the proper ingredient which would be uh, the navy rum. This brand is called Pousser's Rum it is from the British Navy. All right, so let's start off with this drink. The prominent ingredient, the only liquor in it, of course, is my Navy rum. God, I just love the way that cork popping sounds. It's so cool. It's going to be two ounces. Two ounces of our Navy rum. It's going to go in there first. We're going to follow that up with two ounces of pineapple juice. Nice unsweetened pineapple juice works fine here. And then it's orange juice and I'm kind of lazy. I don't like to squeeze my own orange juice, but I found this fresh squeeze unpasteurized stuff at the grocery store. And I'm going to use an ounce of it in the cocktail. And finally, it's going to be an ounce of the cream of coconut, the Coco Lopez, whatever the case may be, whatever you're using. It's okay to overfill that just a little bit because not all of it's going to come out in there. Truthfully, I should have, uh, you know, put it in first before some of my other ingredients, but I can't go back now. So the next step is to add some ice to this and give it a shake. Well, it seems like I shook that a little harder than I usually do. It's because I did. With the uh, cream of coconut and the pineapple juice, a nice vigorous shake will give it a real thick, frothy texture. And that's kind of what we want here. Just a few cubes in a glass. A highball glass works. This one here happens to hold about 14 ounces, so... It's pretty much the same as a highball glass. And we are gonna strain this cocktail 
into the glass. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. And the nice little finishing touch on this is a slight little sprinkle of freshly grated nutmeg on the top. Gonna give it a nice fragrance and also a nice little dimension of flavor. And this is the painkiller cocktail. I've never had a painkiller cocktail, but it's generally regarded as one of the best tiki style cocktails there is. So let's find out if it's worth the hype. Mm. That's delicious. Absolutely. The amazing thing about this cocktail is that despite the fact that it has pineapple juice, orange juice, cream of coconut, the flavors in the navy rum really, really shine through in the end. It's great because a lot of times with cocktails like this, you completely mask the flavors of the spirit, and that is not what's going on here at all. I'm really impressed with this. This is one of my favorite drinks I think I've made on the show. I don't just mean lately, I mean period. To be fair, with the uh, filming today, yeah, I feel no pain. I feel fantastic. Um, not just because of the painkiller cocktail, but because of the, some of the stuff I made earlier. However, if you're into making cocktails and you want to get pain-free like me and make a whole bunch of really cool cocktails at home, you can subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon, that way you get notified when I post anything new. It also wouldn't hurt to check out the summertime cocktail playlist for more stuff like this. So until next time, I want to thank you all for watching, and remember that if this idiot can do it, well, so can you. Cheers.